Well, the CDC is working with school districts across the country to help prevent students from losing more time in the classroom because of COVID-19. WVTM 13 Ship Scarborough talked to parents and educators in the area about a new program called Test to Stay. Right now, students who are exposed to someone with COVID-19 often have to spend several days in quarantine as a precaution, forcing them to miss valuable in-person instruction. Yes, we've had to go through it um, as a mother of four. It's mother of four and children with varying learning differences. Test to Stay is a program the CDC is testing in districts around the country and hoping to expand. It allows students dealing with an exposure to take a rapid test at the start of the school day. If the result is negative, they're allowed in the classroom. Because to have to go back and forth from in-person to virtual, um, it, it's, a, it's a whole different style and there's a whole different pace to it. And I, I think that that has an impact on you know, student learning. For some parents, the program would take a huge weight off their shoulders. It is a challenge figuring out how to school them ourselves or how to fill up their day when they should be in school. And for educators, test to stay could also allow teachers to test out of quarantine early. And then we have the problem of not being able to get substitutes in to fill in. So I really see this as a this idea as the beginning of something very good um, to do in schools. Birmingham City Schools tells me the district has already formed a partnership with UAB for student testing. A spokesperson tells me the district very much supports testing students. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.